Okay, the next several questions are about whether they're functions or not. And what I don't like about this one is that Maria said the following graph what? Does not represent a function. Then the question asks, is Maria correct? Maria is correct that we want to say yes for the answer, but it's what? Not a what? Function. And the reason is, there are two points right there, like negative 3, 3, and negative 3, negative 3. Notice the x is what? The same. So like, that's what happens. So that's why I'm answering that question right there. But to me, the vertical line test, usually, usually we don't ask people like for points to prove it, but that we did on this one here. So this, this one is not a function, but the answer was yes, because Maria was correct. On 12, tell if each set of ordered pairs is a function. All I have to do is look at the x's. And notice, look at A. A has two x's that are what? Same, so that makes it a no. Okay. On B, I look at all the x's and none of them are the same, so it is a yes. On C, I see that there are two the same, so it's a what? Notice, I'm not even looking at the y's, am I? Just the what? X's. And here, the x's are all different, so it is a what? Function. That one is a function. That's all I've got to look at. Do any of the x's repeat? Because they have something that goes to it, so those are ones are uh, B and D are functions, A and C are not. And the same thing right here. Look up here at A. This is a mapping. And notice one goes to two things, so it is what? That's all I have to look at. The one goes to two things. I'm looking at the B, and I'm looking at all the X's, and I didn't see any repeat, so it is a what? Function. And at C, I'm looking at just the X's. Did any of the X's repeat? So it is a what? Function. But D doesn't pass the vertical line test, so we know it is a what? No, it is not a function. It is not a function.